The invention of plastic was an important achievement of mankind a hundred years ago. But nowadays, the management of plastic waste is a huge challenge for our planet. Currently, mankind produces more than 27 million tons per year of plastic waste. What happens with these amounts? Fact is that only a fractional amount can be recycled. The rest is landfilled or incinerated, resulting in an increased pollution of our oceans and a significant CO2 emission. But plastic is a very useful material and not easy to replace. What can we do to make the recycling process more efficient? Let's have a look on the ideal recycling process at first. It would be the ultimate situation if plastic, a polymeric compound, could be completely fragmented into its smaller units, the monomers, without any remaining rest. These units would then serve again as a building block to produce new polymers. How can we bring the reality closer to this vision? A European research team of the project Enzycle is working on a solution. Enzycle is looking for new processes to treat and to recycle plastic fractions that could not be recycled before. This ambitious goal will be reached by using enzymes. The experts agree that the identification of appropriate enzymes works best by sourcing them from microbial consortia. These natural groups of microorganisms from soil, seawater, or landfills will be used for further investigation. Previous studies have shown that several bacteria from these environments were able to degrade plastic polymers, such as polyesters, like PET, or polyolefins. How? By providing the right enzymes. The most appropriate enzymes will be selected, tested and evolved for industrial applications. The enzymatic treatment of waste PET, for example, will provide the building blocks to manufacture new products such as virgin PET or polyurethanes. Enzycle is a chance for creating new markets since expected products and processes will be applicable in packaging, transport, construction materials, textiles and many others. Enzycle aims at decreasing the amount of non-biodegradable polymers sent to disposal or even discharged to the environment. In the end, CO2 emission as well as the amount of plastics that end up in the oceans will be reduced. For a greener environment for all of us.